Welcome to Making Mindfulness Fun, and today we are sharing our insider's tips to setting your 2022 resolutions. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here, here at Making Mindfulness Fun, we help you on a journey to higher consciousness so you can experience more joy, love, and emotional liberation. We are so excited to share with you why Goal setting is something that we are experts at. For the last seven years, we have traveled the world, uh, living our dreams, fulfilling our purpose. But quite honestly, today, standing here with my two daughters, I gotta tell you, like this was a goal that I set way before we decided to move into our RV and start traveling. Uh, it's always been something for me uh, that came easy for me to set a goal and achieve it. And so today we're gonna share with you the three things that we do uh, regularly in order to live a, line that's, uh, live a life that is aligned with our purpose and fulfill all of our passions. So as we share these tips, these are tips that we apply anytime that we are setting our goals and our resolutions. So the first tip that we wanna share with you guys is that your resolution should be aligned with an intrinsic value. Okay, so what does this mean? Now, intrinsic values versus extrinsic values. Extrinsic values are anything that you value outside of yourself, something in the tangible world that you don't get full control over whether that, that um, value is delivered to you. So for example, accomplishment, achievement, validation, um, affirmation, those are things that are extrinsic. You don't get to decide how accomplished you are. You don't get to decide whether you actually get that award. You don't get to decide whether other people are going to validate you. Those are those people's actions. You don't get to decide if other people are going to affirm you. Um, all these things are things that you don't have full power over and in part or in turn that makes you lose your personal power. So when we're working towards our goals and our resolutions, we need all the personal power we can get. Personal power is that energy that comes from within us. And if our values are extrinsic, not only are we giving our power away, but those values are also going to always leave us unfulfilled. The only truly fulfilling goals that we can have are ones that come from within us. So intrinsic values look like things that you have full control over, things that you can enlist. So instead of saying things like accomplishment, you could say, I wanna act from personal power. Instead of saying, I want affirmation, you could say, I want to act from kindness. All these things that we can have in part with our, our self-growth type resolutions, you have to make sure that they're coming from a place within you that you have control over whether you can enlist those things into the world. Yes. The second tip for setting your goals for 2022 and your 2022 resolutions is align it with your astrology and numerology. Now, if you're not into astrology, keep listening because it's really important to set your goals aligned with either your numerology or astrology because it helps us give more purpose to them and it helps them feel more aligned because we tend to set goals we all want to achieve our resolutions. We'll say, I want to work out once a week. I want to get a bigger butt or I want to eat healthier. The, sure, they're great, but you have to make sure that there's something that is, like Gabby's saying, aligned with something that you truly need. And therefore, when you achieve that resolution, if it's more intrinsically driven and aligned with your astrology or numerology, it's going to feel so much more fulfilling when you actually achieve them. So goals that are aligned specifically in astrology with either your South Node or your Lilith are really important because your Lilith controls the side of you that you feel ashamed of, that you feel like you can't embrace. And this is a great thing to start embracing more of. I know that when I started practicing and my resolutions, when I started looking into my Lilith and trying to embrace my Lilith and reincorporate it, it made me feel so much better about my goals and so much better about myself and my day-to-day -day life. And then there's our South Node. The South Node is the part of you that comes easy, but also that you overuse. Our goal is to step into our North Node. So finding goals and setting resolutions that help you step into your North Node and away from your South Node are great resolutions to set. But if you're not into astrology and South Nodes, uh, North Nodes and Lilith sound a little too intimidating, just look into your numerology. Numerology is so powerful to use as a tool for resolutions and for living our life aligned with our purpose because our numerology number, which is unique to our birth date, dictates what our life purpose is and what hurdles we have to overcome. So looking into your numerology is a great way to set your 2022 resolutions and make it so that your goals are more aligned. And then third uh, is one that I've talked about over and over in my book, A Playful Life. And that is having a clearly aligned why. Now, for me, I talk about this in the book that it wasn't so much about working out and fitness. Those were great things. 
but I wanted to go play. I wanted to go surf and rock climb and hike. And so I used exercise and eating good to fuel a bigger purpose, a bigger goal, a bigger why. So it's really important to step back and you make your resolutions and think, if I am successful, is this going to align with a bigger why for me, right? If you make more money and more money and more money and you have to think about, okay, is that at some point where my bank account's 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, is that aligned with some bigger why, a bigger feeling that you wanna create? Or is it going to be just aligned to an extrinsic value of, oh, people will see me as successful? Is it going to spark more joy internally is really the question. So really take time to think about if I set this goal and I am successful, is it going to make me feel a different way, feel a better way? Is it gonna help me wake up excited to start each day? Because really that's what we're looking for in life is some joy and fulfillment in every single day. Now the common thread between all three of these tips that we're sharing with you is that they are all aligned with your purpose. Now, the first thing to know is that your purpose is not one thing, okay? Your purpose is not just your business. It's not just your relationships. Your purpose is the embodiment of everything that you are here to step into. You're here to uh, fulfill this soul mission of stepping in, of overcoming all these limitations that are put on you. And you're really trying to embody and express the deepest sense of self that you have within you. So setting resolutions in general are a great way to work on that journey of your life's purpose but if you want more tips on how to actually step into your life's purpose in 2022 we have a webinar that we'll be co-hosting very soon that you can sign up for in the link in the description and in that webinar we're going to be sharing with you how you can step into your soul's calling and not only that but also use that soul's calling to position yourself for abundance in the coming years because we are really at a transitional point in time so the link is below. Please sign up for the webinar. It's going to be so awesome. They have so much to share in this webinar and we are so excited about it. If you don't, uh, make sure you hit the link below to sign up for that. But please also leave a comment below and let us know what helps you set your 2022 resolutions and what other tips did we miss that we need to share with other people for setting their 2022 resolutions. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for further videos. Namaste. Namaste.